Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to Readings Just Saying. <laughs> Maybe that'll be something new I'll start up. Just saying, just when I have an announcement to make to you. The, one of the announcements is I want to thank you guys so much. Thank you, and welcome new subscribers. I want to thank you guys so much for your love, your light, your emails, your comments down below. I just don't know what to say anymore. Thank you so, so much. I had a lovely energy come by to visit me today. If you guys remember my friend Lindsay, she's done one or two videos with me. So she's come and she spent a few a few hours with me and we worked on the computer. And, and so now she's gone and I'm lonely. <laughs> and I'm too lazy to go to the computer. And plus, uh, I've had a few glasses, if you know what I mean. Cheers. Okay, two things I want to talk to you guys about tonight. One is personal readings. Please. Damn. i got to tell you, personal readings are, I, I put them up to $30 because I asked $25 Canadian, but a lot of you guys are, or from way far away, Switzerland and stuff like that. And by the time that PayPal receives the $25 and takes the taxes off, I've been doing $18 readings, you know. So um, I put it up to $30 and that way we'll be safe enough, I hope, that we'll get a $25 reading out of there. Your reading will come to you by video into your email. It will be 15 to 20 minutes long, but you know, Cher, she tends to talk too damn much, so it's probably a, a lot longer than 15 to 20 minutes. I want you to know that there is no fluffy here. You want a reading? I'm going to give you a freaking reading. I'm going to tell you what the cards are saying. I'm going to tell you what I'm hearing from spirit. I'm not going to stroke your ego. If you're looking for someone to give you a fluffy reading and tell you exactly what you want to hear, oh, they're coming back and you're going to have babies. Mm, you got the wrong place. Go, 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 go to another reader. Because sometimes I can be a little bit no rings. Sometimes I can be a little bit mm, cantankerous. <laughs> Just ask people. They'll tell you. <laughs> also, please, when you get your reading, I want you to pause it after every paragraph. Grab pencil and paper like my dear, dear friend, who is a subscriber and a friend, and you know who you are. He gets pencil and paper out and he'll listen to what I'm saying and then he'll pause. And he'll write down key words and he'll circle them. Spirit sometimes speaks in riddles. For example, I did a reading where I said, oh, I see a computer. You're online. And she was, no, 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 you're wrong. Oh. Well, that's strange. I know I saw a computer. I come to find out she's a school teacher and she's doing online lessons with her class. Spirit will throw in a puzzle sometimes. It's up to you to try to decipher it. And so bit by painstakingly bit in that 15 to 20 minutes, pause. Write down a key word that strikes you. Circle it. And at the end of the reading, look at those key words and find your answer. Don't listen like you're listening to a regular video. It is a personal reading meant for you. And there is a message in there for you. You can say, no, no, the whole reading was off, was it? Was it really? Take another look. Secondly, 
Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, my darlings, you're out there. So many of you are hurting so bad. I receive emails, I receive comments. Share, please help me. Please help me. I don't know what to do. How do I get over this? What do I do? And I would say it takes time. And it always seemed like such a lame, friggin' lame answer. And I didn't ever want to just say, it takes time, dear. You'll get better. It just seems so lame. And I was asking Spirit the other night. I was sitting here and I said, Spirit, it's such a lame answer. There must be another way that I can help these people. How can I help them? What can I do to make them feel better? And Spirit said, well, what are you looking at right now? And I was looking at the comments, flipping through the comments, looking at them. The words that you were speaking to me, the stories you're telling me, the pain that you feel. And I said to Spirit, I said, I'm looking at the comments. He said, that's right. And I'm like, that's right. What does that mean? Spirit, why does Spirit have to speak in such difficult language? But we must realize that they only throw it out there. They throw the ball. You have to catch it. And so Spirit's throwing me this ball I keep missing. I'm like, what, what is saying? What is it that you're saying? That's right. I'm looking at the comments. Yeah. What are you saying to me? And then, you know, I got to tell you, sometimes spirit gets very, very cantankerous with me. You think I get cantankerous? Spirit gets cantankerous with me. But, you know, spirit always has the upper hand, so I always shrink back, you know, like, okay, all right. But he gets quite cantankerous, like, how long must I be here to teach you? How long? And so I sit there and I think, okay, I'm looking at the comments. There's a puzzle here. I have to figure out what is it? What is it? And I'm looking at the comments and I'm looking at the comments and I'm looking at the pain. I'm looking at the tears. I'm looking at the frustration. Sure, help me. What do I do? What do I do? You know, I can think of it's going to take time, darling. It's going to take time. And all I can read is, please help me. And then it hit me. It hit me like a ton of bricks. All of you out there, some stronger, some weaker, some better, some worse, some angry, some fighting, some pain, suffering. All of you, all of them are out there. All of you for the same reason, looking for the answer. How can you get better? It will take time, yes, but what can you do? You see all those comments down there below those videos? Reach out. Reach out to others. You see someone writing to me and saying, Sure, please help me. And you feel, okay, what they've written. That's how I feel. I feel the same way. Get out there. Get out there and talk to that person that feels the same way. If you're angry, speak to the same person that's angry. If you're feeling better, speak to the same person that's feeling better. If you're in the tower, speak to that same person that's in the tower. Throw your comments out there. Hey, hi, I'm so-and-so, and, and I know what you're going through. I feel the same way. And then start to communicate back and forth. Those comments aren't just out there for me. They're out there for you. Get out there. 
and talk to each other, hold each other up, band together. Next thing you know, you're changing email addresses. Will you email me? We'll talk. And pretty soon, you're probably on WhatsApp together or, or talking through Instagram together. Or next thing you know, you get a pen pal. Sir, help me. Yeah, I'll help you. Find your person out there. Find the one that's in the same boat you're in. Grab a paddle. Both of you. Help each other. Those comments aren't just for me. They're people that, just like you, that are reaching out for help. Talk to each other. Help each other. Love each other. We are family here. Reach out. If they don't answer you, okay. Move on to the next one. Find your comrade. Find your person that'll help hold you up. That being said, we're going to come back. We're going to do a Pisces reading. Of course we're going to do a Pisces reading. Come on. No, we're not. We're going to do... Whoever it's for. Whoever it's for. Namaste.